Hello and welcome back to my channel The Future Empress. My name is Anna and today I'm gonna organize my books. So I recently just moved to this apartment and I haven't organized my books yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But I thought to bring you along with me and show you the process. So this is the situation currently. I have all my books stacked out here and there as well. Then I have some textbooks and the bottom shelf. And then those boxes, or not that one, but those three boxes are full of my knickknacks and stuff. But yeah, so these are all gonna go up there. I already put up the fairy lights, so let's just get into it.
So this is how it's looking so far. However, I'm a bit stuck and the sun is going down so I'm gonna stop for the day to think about it some more. It usually helps when I'm organizing my books to take a break from it and come back with a fresh mind. However, I'm loving how it's looking. I haven't had my bookshelves like together side by side like this for a while. However, I don't know. I have so many more books that I have to do something else, but I'm not sure. We will see. Okay, so I lied. I took a little break from organizing and got something to eat and then got back into it. I put the books on top and that was a good thing because I still don't have room for the last book. So this is the last of the English books I own that needs to find a place, which obviously there's not. And then I have all my Icelandic, Danish and one Spanish book that I have to find room for. So I'm not sure if this is how I'm gonna keep them, but for today it's enough. I need some time to think about it, if I want to change something and if I want to change something, how am I gonna do it so it will fit those books. I'm not that upset with it, because I'm thinking about getting a fourth or fifth, technically, shelf here. Because I still have all my textbooks as well. Let's see what tomorrow brings. It's the next day and yesterday I lied. I continued working on the shelves and I actually got almost all of the books on the shelves like I showed you. And I still have to figure out this shelf. Like, I know the books are gonna be on there, I just don't know what order it's gonna be yet. So I'm gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna put all my knickknacks on it because I don't think it will get better than it's now. And then when I put all the knickknacks on, I will show you and explain my organization in more detail. I didn't have a plan per se, when I went into it, so I couldn't explain what I was doing beforehand because I was just trying to put books on shelves. So I will explain when I show you the final result, how I ended up organizing it. Let's finish up these shelves. <laughs>
So I just finished my bookshelves and I am actually very satisfied with them. They look amazing if you ask me. So let's just get into like the mini book tour of this video, I guess. So this is how they're looking. On top of these shelves, I decided to put all of my middle grade and Rick Gray Orton. And then there's a little frog teddy bear. And then I have like this bookend to hold them in place. And there's no particular organization other than it's primarily middle grade. If there's some books that's on here that aren't middle grade, I honestly didn't know. If we go, uh, Shelf down from the middle grade, I have all my Harry Potter. So my first Harry Potter editions, The Cursed Child, The Science of Harry Potter, Harry Potter in Korean, Harry Potter in Spanish, and then the Slytherin editions of Harry Potter. The first three at least. And then I have this shrunken head, which I love. And all my potions stuff with Malfoy and Professor Snape. I have a lot of Lego figures. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I love this shelf. And then the shelf next to it is another Harry Potter shelf because I have too many Harry Potter books. So this one has the illustrated editions of the original Harry Potter books. And then we have the manuscript of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I have Dumbledore here and the trio again. And we have Tom Riddle with some tea behind it and a Protonus of a stack, a broomstick, nine and three quarters, and just all the Harry Potter stuff. Then I have this old clock here which I put fairy lights inside. I thought it was very Fantastic Beast-esque and that's why I have it displayed on here. And then I can get down from this one. And then down from the Harry Potter shelf, you go down to my Cassandra Clare shelf, which is uh, actually one and a half shelf because Cassandra Clare has written too many books. So just have this crest I bought because it reminded me of the crest that Jem keeps with his special powder inside. So there's nothing inside here, but it just reminds me. And then I have a Clockwork Angel. That is Tessa's. And then I bought this one in China. And it just kind of lives on this shelf because Jem is half Chinese, if I remember correctly. A replica of the necklace that Isabel has. But it's here because it's originally a Magnus Bay necklace. If you've read the Infernal Devices, you would know. And then a High Wall a Candle. And then just a lot of knickknacks that I thought was very fitting to the story inside the books. Then here we have the rest of Cassandra Clare's books. And then Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Raven Boys, and then just The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. So now we are actually in the like genres organization. So urban fantasy starts there where this is urban fantasy and kind of middle grade and then young adult urban fantasy and it continues down here where I have just a lot of urban fantasy and then the next over is high fantasy young adult. And then if we go down from here, it's mostly adult fantasy. And the reason I didn't go back to here is because this is the science fiction shelf with my Mercer Meyer books and then other science fiction books. And then down from that, we have another science fiction shelf, which goes over to a dystopian shelf with the side books. And then continues over here to the rest of my dystopian books. So that's these two shelves. 
and then we have this small shelf which is primarily manga and then just small books that fit the shelf. So I have my Seraph of the End mangas, Black Butler, The Ancient Magnus Bride, Tokyo Ghoul, Death Note, My Brother's Husband, Behind Story, That, that Blue Sky Feeling, I Hear the Sun's Bud, and then we have the Selection series, and then just some urban fantasy that couldn't fit on the other shelf. And then some mystery young adult. Yeah, that's this shelf. And then the last shelf is this. This is primarily contemporary. So here we start off with my historical fiction, which also goes down to this shelf. And I've actually organized this in time periods, so it starts from like 600 to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue is like the 1700s, then to 1800s, early 1900s, and we just continue timeline-wise, so like the Second World War, and then the 80s and 90s. And so down from here we go to my Christmas books. So these are all my Christmas books until here. And then I thought it fitting to put my retellings here and make this stack which fits the Christmas-esque theme which I'm trying to go for. And then we go down to my young adult contemporary shelves. I have three of those and I decided to organize them in rainbow since it's rarely there's a series and even though they're serious, I actually don't mind them getting separated when it's contemporary. I was originally trying to do the only LGBTQI plus books, however, I didn't have enough and then I didn't know what to do with the non-LGBTQI plus, so I just decided to do a rainbow shelf with them all. And then the last shelf here is one non-fiction book and then mostly just adult fiction. It's both contemporary and thrillers and mystery and urban fantasy, so it's a little bit of everything. There's also poetry. But yeah, those are my shelves and I'm so happy with them. However, I have some books that I wasn't able to fit. Some textbooks, some Icelandic, Danish, and then a whole stack of fantasy that I couldn't fit on the shelves. So we'll probably be buying another bookshelf in the future, but it won't be now. And that's also just a box of childhood books. So just wanted to mention these shelves. These shelves live in my living room. So they're not a part of my main bookshelves, but I just wanted to note that I keep my classics and non-fiction on here. So you can see I have the Barnes & Noble classics over here, and then my Little Women, another stack of classics. And there there's scientific books like Astronomica, the science book, like Travel to the Space, and then like Illustrated Science and Illustrated History. And then I have my K-pop albums, my Doctor Who books and CDs. And then another shelf of classic, this is like children's classics. Then my Leather bound Barnes and Nobles classic, I think it's called. And then I have my PlayStation. Over here we have like primarily non-fiction, literature and poetry as well. And then also like my Stranger Things books. Another just classic sh shelf. And then here we have like artsy non-fiction books. Just wanted to briefly mention it because I own these books, but they're not on my main shelves. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me reorganize or like organize my bookshelves for my new place. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.